What up, everyone? Welcome to BTI. I'm Josh Matthews. That's Gia Miller. The penultimate Impact Wrestling before Bound for Glory is just moments away. But before we get to that, we are going to get to everything that went down last week. We're going to get you guys all caught up to speed. And everyone's grateful that I'm here for, for all of you. So oh. you're welcome. Um, okay. I uh, don't know really where that was coming from. But I I'll get so many X messages. I get so many uh, Instagram messages. I'm not on Facebook anymore. Okay. But, and people just, just it's just a constant barrage of thank you, Josh. You know what? So Thank you for that, Josh. You're welcome, um, see? Um, I'm gonna take us to the action. Now, it was the main event from last week, Con of the Design versus Josh Alexander with Alex Shelley at commentary. Josh Alexander here, been put through the ringer just a few weeks away from Bound for Glory, going up top, high oh, risk! Oh, where for the moonsault, and Con got out of the oh, way. Oh, I wish you would be careful. You know, I was here for all those champions, right? The ones who came before Josh. Oh! I was here for the AJ Styles and Jeff Jarrett's and the Kurt Angles. Oh! Choke bomb! Here's the cover! Is this the end for Alexander tonight? No! And I saw the same thing in them that I see in Josh Alexander. This man does not give up. And that is the kind of... As you see here, Daner he can, demanding more. No, that's fighting. fine. He can do that as much as he wants. Just don't touch Josh. It's that simple. My con, not going to listen to that. Pulverizing Josh Alexander. Oh, look at this, getting Alexander up. Alexander able to escape Ooh. there for a moment and Sakuri right to the back of the head. Get him, Josh. You look out here. Oh, look. Trying oh to get Alexander, God. trying to get Khan up on the shoulders. And Khan, Khan holding on to the top oh, oh, oh. Khan's legs right into the face of the official. The ref is down. That was a bad spot to be for the ref. Oh, and now Khan. Khan's got a hold of Alexander. Yeah, this man, oh, Josh. He, it's got to continue here. Oh! oh. Oh, the straight right there by Alexander. The official's down. Alexander trying to push through. Look out. Alexander taking off here. Oh, oh and the cross body to the back of Khan. I don't know. Oh, wait, wait a minute. What? Wait a minute. Diener, Diener's got a steel chair. He went after Alexander. But Shelly got up here. Shelly took the chair out of the hands of Diener. Alexander was going for Diener, and he hit Shelly by accident. No good deed goes unpunished. Coming to fruition here at ringside. And now Khan tosses Alexander back inside. The official's starting to get back to his feet. Incidental contact here on the outside between Alexander and Shelly, instigated by Diener. Ah, oh, now Khan. Khan grabbing a hold of Alexander. Oh, and wait a minute, Alexander oh, brings the big man down! And he's got it! He's got the ankle lock! Walks into the ring! Like their first matchup that ended in moments! Alexander wanted this earlier on in the matchup! And Alexander sent into the ropes, Khan able to escape for just a second! Oh, but Alexander is right on his tail! Oh, wait a minute! Oh, Khan, look at the power of Khan trying to counter the C4 spike! Not to be, though, Alexander fights back! All right, knees, knees now by Alexander. Is it enough? C4 spike! Cover! Alexander withstands Khan! Here is your winner, the walking weapon, Josh Alexander! I mean, what a fight between two behemoths here in Impact Wrestling, but all, what about all the chaos? It happened moments before the finish of this match with involving the Impact World Champion, Alex Shelley. Alex Shelley told us moments ago, don't judge me by my words, judge me by my actions. He tried to help Alexander at one point, but incidental contact on the outside, it, it was chaos here. And yeah, we do know, emotions run high. Alex Shelley said it himself, emotions are running high ahead of this world title match at Bound for Glory, Tom. Oh. 
Oh, uh, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh, oh shit! Oh, shock! Alex Shelley said he wanted Josh Alexander at 100% for Bound for Glory, but he did get the better of him there at the end. And if he does that, if Alex Shelley does that in Chicago at Bound for Glory, he will retain the Impact Wrestling World Championship. And still to come here on BTI, Alan Angels and Laredo Kid. This one promises to be above the ring when they go one-on-one. -on -one. But up next, more highlights from Impact Wrestling from last week. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back right after this. Welcome back to BTI. During the break, I was saying you're welcome to everybody on X and Instagram and everything else. It you're only welcome. took him about 30 seconds. So. Yeah, to do one, and now I have to do multiple. Because there's so only many, one thank you. So many people are thanking okay. me for all these things that I do. You're welcome, everybody. Well, you know, we should really thank the knockouts for the action that they gave us last week. Sure. We Considering Killer Kelly versus Tasha Steeles. Yep, that was a good one. With the landscape of Impact Wrestling always changing. Talk about Tasha Steele's returning. Now that Bound for Glory will have a huge effect on those incredible shows we're gonna have in the United Kingdom. What will the landscape of Impact Wrestling look like after Bound for Glory? We are on the road to that huge, huge show here. As now oh. Steele's once again taking firm control of the matchup. Slammer's checking on Kelly. Big right hand by Steels. Oh, look out. Steels on the move. Oh, and the baseball slide connected with Masha, who's protecting Kelly. Now, words being exchanged here. Tempers flaring in the impact zone. The official trying to calm down Slamovich on the outside so Masha doesn't interfere in the matchup, but still Steels instigated things. Shoulders down, and Kelly nearly had Steels. Oh, what a pump kick. Kelly tried to take advantage there. Tasha steals, though, so quickly able to turn it right back around. Cover, hook to the leg, tucks the arm, and a kick out by one half of the tag champs. And I gotta give credit to Tasha Steels here. It's not easy to get back into the swing of things in this business. Even, even, even one month away can knock you off your game a little bit if you're not regular with it. We're talking about six months for Tasha Seals and coming in here, taking over, taking control like a boss here in this matchup. 12-6 elbows, and now the camel clutch applied here on Killer Kelly. And all the attitude to boot as well from the queen of Flava country. Now Killer Kelly trying to get up to her feet here to fight back against this submission of Tasha Steeles. And Steeles brings Kelly down to the canvas, turning it into a cross face of sorts. Driving Kelly right back down, not letting go of the tenaciousness of the Boricua badass. Oh, forearm shots here by Killer Kelly. Kelly teeing off on Tasha Steeles. Oh, doubled over by the Bariqua Badass. And look out. Oh, go for a little stratisfaction there. Oh, and a kick right to the chest. Kelly, oh, finding a huge opening here against Steels. We're gonna spoil this singles return of Tasha Steels. Close range with the clotheslines. Uh-oh. They grab it, a hold of Tasha Steeles. Killer Kelly trying to take control of this matchup. Oh, and a big headbutt by Kelly. And not done yet, look out, look out. Oh, butterfly suplex into the corner. And just like that, 
Killer Kelly, one half of the Knockouts World Tag Team Champions. Lining things up. Oh, the hesitation drop kick in the corner. And now Kelly only steals away from the ropes, but Steele's able to kick out. Kelly, though, know, got to keep her foot on the gas here to shut down Steels. Well, up onto the shoulders now. Killer Kelly trying to find a way to put away Tasha Steels. Great support for both wrestlers from the fans here in Memphis. What about the cutter? Oh, oh! Cole caught up with a sleeper here. That was a great counter by Killer Kelly. This could be lights out for Tasha Steels. And Killer Kelly has got Steels all wrapped up. Well, wait a minute, there's Deanna Peraza pulling the ref out of the ring. There you go. Hey, Deanna Peraza out here evening the odds now. Evening the odds? Where the, the official, the official thought it was Masha Slamovich. The official never saw Deanna Peraza rush down here in the first place. No idea. And look out! Oh, wait a minute, now Steels. Steels trying to capitalize. Oh, look out. Oh, it's the blackout! Shoulders down, Steels is pinned. One half of the Knockouts Tag Team Champions. Here is your winner, Tasha Steels! And ain't nothing like having a friend get your back, Tom. Not that you would know. Last week, the Virtuoso welcomed Tasha Steels back to Impact, and tonight, Deanna Perrazzo helps Tasha Steels pin one half of MK Ultra. It's, it's all, it's all Very crazy confusing. bedlam chaos. I mean, you want to talk about crazy, how about you take Ten people, five oh. on one team and five on the other. Necessarily, people who don't like each other or do like each other doesn't really matter. And the winning team would then have an opportunity next week to compete against each other. And so those five, are you with me so far? Mm -hmm. This is like Steiner math, right? Yep. But the five that win go on to next week, and the winner of that five way enters the call your shot gauntlet at number 20, which is the best spot to enter a gauntlet match, 20 being the last one, so you're the freshest coming in but after 19, the the, I'm getting there, after 19 people have already competed, but the loser of that five way, that'll happen next week, enters at number one, the worst possible spot that you can enter a gauntlet. So win 20, lose one, other team, well, you're just a stepping stone, so you gotta win this first one first before you get to next week. There's just like smoke coming out of your ears. You got it? It all happened last week. Take a look. A lot of BFG oh. implications in this one. The strength of Jordan Grace getting some comeuppance there on Brian Myers. And now look at Grace. Grace wants Bully Ray. And we've seen these two go nose to nose before, Tom. And a tag made in the lead up to Hard to Kill earlier this year. Bully Ray and Jordan Grace squared off in a tag team matchup. Bully Ray was content to torment Jordan Grace for much of the match. And now Grace. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh Whoa. my God, trying to get Bully Ray up. Bully Ray able to counter it out though. Oh, and dumping Jordan Grace. And now Tan once again taking time to revel in it. I am fully going for the elbow drop. Grace gets out of the way and in comes Eric Young. Maybe a little bit too much time reveling in it. As the world-class maniac. Oh! Turn things up a notch or 10. Two former Impact World Champions, Young and Bully. And now Young's going up top, his patented elbow drop on and Shira Ooh. slows up Young. The official never saw the involvement of Shira. Hey, that's some great teamwork. Yeah, Brian Myers had the official, Shira does the deed. This may not be a, a regular team, a ragtag group of strange bedfellows over here, but that was some great teamwork. Oh! 
Double suplex there. King is legal on Young. Cover to advance her team the next week. And a kick out. And remember what's at stake in the Call Your Shot gauntlet matchup out for Corey. The winner gets a guaranteed impact title shot of their choosing anytime, anywhere over the next year. And then next week in the five-way matchup, the winner gets the coveted number 20 spot. The last spot in the gauntlet. The loser, whoever's been or submitted, has to start the gauntlet at number one. And that's what I was saying too a little bit earlier. Even if you win here tonight and put yourself closer to that potential number 20 spot, you can still end up in that number one spot, the worst spot to be in, in the Call Your Shot gauntlet. Oh, that drop kick there by Young Levels Bully. Now Young, looking for an opening here, looking for a tag. And a tag made. It's Jordan Grace to meet Jody Threat. Threat now here pummeling at the juggernaut. The wild child is loose. Oh, down goes Threat. Jordan Grace will return to impact with authority at Victory Road. Finally getting a singles victory over a longtime rival, Tiana Perrazzo. Tag made. I don't know if Grace saw oh. it, though. I don't know if Grace is aware. She's not. Oh, the spine buster. You're right. Was not aware of the blind tag made there by Kylan King. And King, wow, dumps her own teammate out of the ring. And we know there's no love loss there between those two. Oh! That kick to the head. That slows up Grace. Uh-oh. Thinking about that neutralizer. Oh, back body drop by Grace. Grace makes the tag, and in comes Jake something. To meet oh. Sheeran, and levels the Indian Lion. And now Jake something with a sit-out power bomb. Boy, Bully Ray, Bully Ray went up top. That was ill-advised. Oh. Now more than ever, look at him. Oh. Bully Ray goes down hard. And wait, wait, wait! Oh, and Dango walks oh, into on. the ring. Everybody's turning on their own partners. I know there's bad blood oh. there, but oh my god! Now Sing! Something, yeah, bad blood with him and Dango and Sing, wrong place at the wrong time. Jake's something like an animal here. Oh, and now something launches Dango, and here's the truth of the matter. They're teammates tonight, but next week, it's every person for themselves. Oh, it's down now. It's down to Shira and something. Uh-oh. Oh, it caught into the void. Cover! Jake something's team will advance to next week. Here are your winners, Jordan Grace, Eric Young, Champagne Sang, Dirty Dango, and Jake Something. So next week, Something's team will compete in a five-way matchup. The winner gets the number 20 spot. The loser gets the number one spot in the Call Your Shot Gauntlet at Bound for Glory. Well, those five will get that opportunity to be number one or number 20 in the gauntlet. 20 is the opportunity, one's like the, the I don't want to say you, you're a loser if you enter a number one, because you could still win a oh, gauntlet yeah, you if could, you're number that one. That would be the biggest upset of yeah. the night. You're going to play just, some bets on that? I mean, place bets on everything. I have bets on how long this show is going to take us to do. I have bets on uh, just, just across the board. I'm just betting money all day long, uh, every day. Is that why day. people are thanking you? Most of the time, people are just thanking me for everything. There's people, it's crazy right now. The show's getting ready to start, guys. We've got so much more to come. Don't go anywhere. BTI will continue after this. Still to come here on BTI, we're going to see Alan Angels and Laredo Kid in what promises to be a fast and furious matchup. But up next, more highlights from Impact Wrestling from last week. BTI continues right after this. Welcome back to BTI. You know what I love? Nothing more than Gia whippings. It was ABC versus one half of the good hands and an unlikely partner in Jay Vidal but it was certainly one that we all wanted to see. Uh, whoa, there you go, hey! Those hips would make the king proud, baby. On a tag made there by Ace Austin, not sure if David All is aware of it. Now, he's about to learn. Oh! oh. Yeah. Beautiful. 
beautifully done by the ABC. You saw the briefcase that the ABC made their entrance with. That is a product of Feast or Fire. Chris Bay winning a briefcase. He dives outside the ring. He knows the fans love him. They're not going to hit him. What is this? The fix is in. The ABC have a guaranteed Impact World Tag Team title shot in their future thanks to Bay securing a briefcase in Feast or Fire. No, 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 no. Jay, oh, no. Jay. The doll probably wishes he was fired right about now. Austin into the cover and a kick out. Well, tonight the wait is over as the Power Hour returns to Access TV immediately following New Japan Pro Wrestling. The all-new season kicks off with Billy F. Gibbons of ZZ Top and Chris Shiflett from Foo Fighters. Tune in tonight at 11 Eastern right here on Access TV. Oh, and there goes Fatal. Oh, yep, beat her on the floor. Beat her not on the floor. You do not touch him. Uh, and now they are. No! You guys can hit him. Everybody hit him. Somebody hit somebody! Have some humanity, Memphis! And Vidal dives back into the ring, hooked to the leg by Austin in a kick out. Skyler and Vidal have got to get it together. Oh, come on, this, this, this is our first night gaming together. This was impromptu, more or less. They're hanging in there. They're valiantly trying to hold on. Oh! Shot there by Austin. Oh, and a boot right to the face. Oh, now, oh, and Skyler using the distraction of Vidal. Vidal had the attention of the official. Oh, there's a smack that we've been waiting for Tag. all night. Skyler with the smack there and tags himself back in. Vidal is only himself to blame. He screwed up in the main event last week. I would say he's cost Giselle Shaw her matchup against the Knockouts World Champion Trinity. That's why he was offered up into this match. There's certainly an argu argument to be made, but he has a great opportunity here. Hold on, cover. Right. Now Austin trying to pin Skyler and the official trying to get Bay out of the ring because Skyler had gone after Bay and stirred things up. Now Austin dumped outside. Come on. Young person, hit that man. Hit that grown man on the floor right there, right now. Ah, uh, great impact fans just taking care of the people they love. That man has lost his best privileges. I'm gonna get security on Don't that. you say that about Will. Oh, oh God, not the spit out of the mouth of uh -oh. John Skyler. Uh -oh. Down goes Skyler, get him, get him. Oh my God! You made your point, Memphis. Oh, look at the back of Skyler and Vidal running in, trying to take advantage of the chaos. Sentences only need one period. We oh, hold on, cover here by Austin and a kick out. Drop kick Skyler into the corner. Tag made by Vidal. Not sure if Austin is aware of the tag. Able to cut oh. Ace Austin off at the pass there. Not able to get a tag to Chris Bay. Oh! Face first into the top turnbuckle. Oh! Ace Austin with a huge kick. You listen to this. These fans using these leather straps are almost like clapping. Trying to get everybody in the corner of ABC. And a tag made. Chris Bay to meet John Schuyler. As much as this is fans' revenge, this is the ABC's revenge in sort against the good hands. This is ridiculous. And a shot there at the Rascals. The ABC want the Rascals for the Impact World Tag Team titles. This isn't a two-on-two -two tag match. This is a one, two, three, four, 25-on-two tag team match. Oh, uh, and Skyler to the outside again. Get him! Get him! Get back inside, John. Run! Run! Oh. There's no shame in it. Oh, and Bay keeps him on the outside. Oh, God, just keep the scraps away from us. Oh, my God. Oh, and Skyler caught again. He's oh. trying to get back in. Oh, God. Oh. Oh, God, on the stomach and the chest on the back. Oh, right, the ribs there. Oh, oh and now Skyler's taking a strap away from one of the fans. It's just a man disarming his attackers. Oh, and Bay over the top. The ultimate finisher. Looking good here in Memphis. Ooh. Oh, big kick there by Austin. Skyler sent inside. Now it might just be a matter of time. Here we go. The Arm Finesse. That's the one. The fall. That's the two. Cover. The ABC get their revenge. 
it for one. Ladies and gentlemen, here are your winners, the A, B, C. Well, there's about 25 asterisks on that match. Oh, yeah, get it. <laughs> it was all you versus them anyway. I hope you're happy, Memphis. The fans get their revenge. I love the fans' revenge match. You won. The A, B, C get the revenge on the good hands, but their focus is on the Impact World Tag Team Champions, the Rascals. Well, victory for ABC, Ooh. but... Oh, my that, back that, hurts just watching that. They didn't get whipped, but Ooh. I think Ace Austin is already a little country whipped anyway. Uh. <laughs> and still to come here on BTI, Alan Angels and Laredo Kid go one-on-one. -on -one. Who will pick up the victory in that one? But up next, it's our social media top five. Five back moment of the week. Iceman Intel and more BTI rolls on right after this. Welcome back to BTI, everyone. What a night it's going to be. The action will get started momentarily. That's why Gia is no longer here. She's off to call the action with Tom Hannafin at ringside. And before we get to them, let's take a look at what Impact was talking about this week. It's our social media top five. And now, the social media top five moments on BTI. Number five. Bound for Glory Fallout is already stacking up, starting with Alex Shelley versus Jonathan Gresham. Number four. Another dream match for Bound for Glory Fallout. It's Josh Alexander versus Will Ospreay. Number three. Speaking of these two, Alex Shelley hit Josh Alexander with the shell shock. Number two. If you are squeamish, look away. Crazy Steve stabbed Tommy Dreamer with a fork? And at number one. Ooh, this is gonna get good. It's Deanna Perrazzo and Tasha Steeles versus MK Ultra. Well, that's what the uh, world was talking about. That was the trending topic of the week, but somewhere somebody said something. Maybe it was late at night, maybe it was early in the morning, maybe it was in the middle of the day, but they said it, we screenshotted it, we call it the clapback moment of the week, and here it is. The clapback moment of the week is Oh, I, I think this clapback is completely uncalled for. All right, well, we'll see what happens there. I want to know what's going on in Impact Wrestling. Like, what's the, remember back in the day, you can call the 1-800 number and you can get all the inside scoops. You had to pay like 99 cents a minute. You had to get your parents' permission. You guys don't need your parents' permission at all for this. It's Iceman. He's got the intel, and we give it to you for free. Welcome, Iceman's Intel. I'm George Iceman. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at I am George Iceman in case I have some scoops to share or you might have some breadcrumbs to share with me. Now, tonight on Impact, on Access, we're going to see a two out of three killer impact match between Kazarian and Edwards. Now, here is the scoop and what I'm hearing. Somebody walking by the dressing room heard Edwards yelling and screaming on the phone. He was kicking things around. He was upset. But the question is, who was he talking to? Or what was he talking about? I just don't know. All I can say is that shenanigans always surrounds Edwards. So Kasarian needs two eyes in the back of his head. Ladies and gentlemen, I guess we'll have to tune in and find out on Impact tonight.
team of Swan and Callahan. Yeah, it was great tag team action, but I love seeing Laredo Kid shine on his own. Swan and Callahan, we know are going to be challenging the Rascals for the Impact World Tag Team titles tonight on Access TV. But first, it's Kid versus Angels here on BTI. Thank you for joining us on Impact Plus YouTube and Facebook. This is BTI. This is a first time ever matchup. It's Laredo Kid one on one with Alan Angels. This should be the proverbial X Division showcase. Oh, absolutely. These two are both not just high flyers, they are heavy hitters and both potential, possibly, future X Division champions. Well, we do know that come Bound for Glory one week away from Saturday, October 21st, live in Chicago on pay per view, Fight TV, YouTube, and his own internet. Nationally. It will be Chris Saban defending his X Division Championship against Kenta in a first time ever matchup. Yeah, that's going to be absolutely incredible. I can't wait for that and all the other matches we've got lined up so far, but we got to get back to this one. Yeah, kick right to the midsection there by Alan Angels, who uh, has been known to cut corners, be underhanded, so to speak. Sure. I mean, he is no angel. We've discussed. I mean, he has certainly uh, relied on his dirty deeds to get the job done. Whipped into the corner there by Kid. Nimbu of eight rolls through. El Rito Kid staying right with Alan Angels. Pretty even thus far in the match. Ooh. Kid rolls through. Trying to pick up the pace here. That luchador style of Laredo Kid. Hurricane and Rana and out goes Angels. Oh, yeah, both of these men. I can't take anything away from either of them. They're both incredible athletes with interesting repertoire. And look at Laredo Kid takes down Alan Angels. I knew this was going to be a pretty intense matchup. What a way to start the night. Strike there to Allen Angels. I told him that one was for me. Now, Laredo Kid going up to the top turnbuckle here. Maybe trying to end this thing early. It's gone over a splash. That's all of it. Is that enough? Here's the cover on Angels. Able to kick out. High flying, high intensity offense here to begin our night in Memphis, Tennessee. Fans still filing into Graceland Live. Did you get the full Graceland tour with me? Oh, you? absolutely. I saw the Lisa Marie, I saw the mansion, I saw the museums. I have a lot of inspiration for my next couple of outfits. Oh, and a single leg Boston crab here by Laredo Kid. Center of the ring, trying to take away the base, the speed, the footing of oh. Alan oh. Angels. Oh. Angels able to keep Laredo Kid at bay, launches him into the corner. Yeah. Over the top, yeah. and Laredo Kid oh. all caught there with a forearm shiver by Angels. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Another big open oh. palm strike. I felt that from here. The voice went a couple octaves deeper. Laredo Kid trying to rip Alan Angels off the top turn. Oh, oh, and Angels hanging up Laredo Kid there. You could see the exposed ribs went into the exposed part of the turnbuckle. That's steel. No padding there. Oh, and again, Angels oh uses that exposed part of the turnbuckle. Down goes Laredo Kid. Oh, and Tom, I have to remind you and everyone at home that Laredo faced a life threatening injury, and that surgery was done to his midsection. I, I think this might be. A plan of Alan Angels to target a weakness that he knows. It's something that we do know Laredo Kid has dealt with, has recovered from, but it is obviously a vulnerability for him going forward in his career in professional wrestling. Suffered that injury roughly a year ago, at the end of 2022. Only was able to get back in an impact ring in April of this year. Now Laredo Kid, count of five here, able to get himself back inside the ring. The match will continue. And Alan Angels now pummeling Laredo Kid. I'm sure Laredo's still just trying to catch his breath after that. I can't stop thinking about how hard he came down on that exposed turnbuckle. Oh, oh a half and half suplex there. Oh, just, just. Cover. Tucks the arm, oh, and a kick out there. 
Laredo Kid hanging in. And Gia, this is just the beginning of what's to come here tonight in Memphis, Tennessee. Plenty of matchups here at Graceland Live. Oh, absolutely. We are going to see that special five way that's going to determine our number one and our number 20 for the call your shot gauntlet at Bound for Glory. Laredo Kid sending Angels to a distance there, sends him to the ropes. Now trying to control out Angels here. Middle of the ring, and once again, the half and half suplex high on the neck and shoulders, the cover, and a kick out by Laredo Kid. I remember moments ago, took that neck breaker into the exposed steel of the turnbuckle. Oh my gosh, I, it, it's almost like purgatory. He's seeing him take the same thing over and over, and it's so brutal each time. And also still to come tonight on Access TV, the much anticipated two out of three falls killer impact match. Eddie Edwards and Frankie Kazarian. This will be the conclusion of their rivalry. There's the cover, hook to the leg and a kick out. And don't forget, we are gonna have knockouts action as well. Tasha Steeles alongside Deanna Perrazzo will face off against Courtney Rush, but she'll have Jessica in her corner. And we know Tasha Steeles and Deanna Perrazzo looking forward to a Knockouts World Tag Team yeah. title shot at Bound for Glory against MK Ultra, the champions, but Alan Angels continues to go back to this half and half suplex on Laredo Kid. Like I said, it's purgatory, having to repeat the same thing over and over. Oh. But it looks like he's broken that cycle. Oh. Right, okay, gets the boot up in time. Oh, and a kick right to the face of Allen Angels. And now Laredo Kid's going up top, trying to push the pace. Missile drop kick there to Angels and a kip up. Just turned Allen Angels inside out. Now Laredo Kid. Oh. Rushes at Angels in a big forearm blast. Uh -oh. oh, sit out, Michinoku driver. And now Laredo Kid from the turnbuckles. Oh, oh, I see what we're going for here. Uno mas. From the second, hits the twisting senton again. Here's the cover. Hook to the leg, and Angels finds a way to stay in this match. A lot of fight out of Allen Angels. I can't take that away from him. I, I mean, he's told me before that he, he is fueled purely out of spite and angst, and that's clearly evident in this matchup. Couldn't agree more. Malorado Kid trying to keep Allen Angels down. He went for that frog splash earlier on. Maybe thinking about another high-risk maneuver. He's going up. Oh, 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 trying to hit it. And Angels, oh, the halo strike. Oh, no. Cover. Oh, and a kick out there. That's one of the best shots Alan Angels has. Wow, I can't believe it. I don't think we've seen anyone kick out of the halo strike so far. That just goes to show just how much Laredo's got left in him. And now Angels go for Angels' wings. We saw him use that in New York. Here's the cover. Oh, nearly had him. Angels stays alive. The match continues. I'm done over there by Laredo Kid. Kid. Oh! Alredo Kid trying to get Allen Angels under the top yeah. turnbuckle. Yep. Oh. oh, big open palm strike. Oh, wait, wait a second. Oh, to the eyes, to the eyes. Oh my God, Allen Angels. Oh. He threw his wrist tape in order to distract the referee and of course, a cheap shot. Makes sense. Allen Angels once again bending oh. the rules. Hits the Angels' wings. Cover. Angels beats Loretto Kid. Here's your winner, Allen Angels. As I mentioned, Angels happy to cut corners. Oh, yeah. He'll use any excuse, any way that he can get to a victory. And he got it here tonight. Meanwhile, let's throw it to Impact Wrestling's resident angel, Josh Matthews. Great way to get the night started here. X Division style matchup between Allen Angels and Laredo Kid. And what's going to happen on an all new Impact Wrestling? What's going to happen on the road to Bound for Glory? We're so close to Chicago. Cannot wait to get there. But folks, sit back, relax, enjoy what promises to be the most unpredictable two hours of pro wrestling that you're going to get all week long. Impact Wrestling starts right now.